So at the moment in, in Wales, homelessness is rising. Uh, the number of people coming in asking for help because they're either at risk of homelessness or they are already homeless uh, has gone up. And we're largely attributing that to, to welfare reforms um, and housing market issues. They're the, the two main things. Uh, so, so the amount of money that folk are able to access through, through uh, their benefits, universal credit, local housing allowance, isn't sufficient and isn't keeping up with the cost of housing. So that's, that's causing an awful lot of pressure on the services that we've got that are largely at crisis point. Um, to, to try and meet the needs of those people. Some of the things that we're, we're doing at the moment, we've in Wales got world leading legislation policy um, around homeless prevention, but it's right at the point of crisis. So we talk about it in terms of being 56 days away from losing your, your property. We've got some really good support. Local authorities are under a duty to try and help prevent somebody losing their home or if they have lost their home, to find an alternative. And that's working quite well, um, but if you speak to local authorities, the message is that we need more resource, we need, need, need more staff, and we need more housing available. Um, so, so that's the context, something that we're doing well, and, and that law has been copied by England, the Scots are looking at it, the Australians and the Canadians are looking at it. So it's, it's something we're doing well. But actually what's really, I guess, promising at the moment is most of the discussion is that that really good piece of law and policy should be our backstop. You know, and the minister and, and government officials are saying that. It's, it's great, but it's got to be our backstop. What we need to do is stop people becoming homeless far earlier. And that's where we start talking about universal and targeted forms of prevention. So universal would be about addressing some of the poverty issues that we face, income issues related to welfare, addressing our housing market issues, building enough social and affordable housing so that folk can afford to live in our communities. And then in targeted prevention, there's, there's some really promising talk about, well, what do we do with our prisons so that folk aren't leaving our prisons into homelessness? What are we doing for our young people who are in state care? because too many young people are leaving state care and becoming homeless. It's about a third of young people um, who leave care within two years become homeless. That's just utterly unacceptable. So these are the, the, the questions that we're now asking about. What can we do far earlier? And I guess I, I will just spend two seconds talking about an innovation that I think is particularly interesting and promising around youth homelessness prevention. So there's a project from Australia called the Geelong Project uh, that we're looking to, to pilot in Wales. We're, we're calling it Upstream. And that project basically works with all school children, identifies those at risk, and then puts in place um, family intervention and supports to try and stop relationships breaking down and stop young people later becoming homeless. And if we can, if we can shift things up in that direction, up earlier, upstream, then, then we're going to massively reduce the number of people that our homelessness services, our crisis services have to help.